Come on, Palomino Frisian. It's expensive. Oh my gosh, it's expensive. Okay, I don't want to look. I'm not looking. I'm scared. Hello, everyone. I'm so happy to have you back with me today. So obviously, I'm not on Minecraft. <laughs> I'm on Roblox. Wild Horse Islands, to be exact. I made a video about this game a few months ago. I don't remember when exactly, but I never got really into it. My good friend Rebecca Ravenbird has been playing recently, which made me want to revisit the game and see how it is now. I have been hooked, <laughs> very hooked on this game for the last week or so. This video is going to be a little bit jumbled because it is footage over the last week. So you'll notice my levels might jump around depending on where I put clips and stuff like that, but try not to pay too much attention. I'm going to try and keep it as streamlined and sensible as possible. Before we get started today though, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I would absolutely love to have you. Okay, so before we get going, I do want to show you this Arabian I caught naturally in the wild. And it was so exciting because, well, it's a beautiful Arabian horse. <laughs> and apparently it's sort of unique. So I was really excited to catch this horse. And to kind of go over some of the things I'm looking for. So I, I know I like the Arabians and I really like the Frisians. I might also have a thing for the thoroughbreds. I don't know yet. But anyway, I want my horses to be as high purity as possible. So this horse is 100%. That's perfect. And then height, I want no shorter than 15 hands. 15 hands is actually too small for me. The bigger, the better. <laughs> And then another horse that I picked up is this white Frisian. I did use Robux on this horse. I've actually used a lot of Robux. <laughs> oh, I have a horrible habit of doing that. And then this Clydesdale. I thought he was really, really pretty. I love the dapple gray and I love the white legs. He's just so cute. Um, let's see. Oh, and then this blue roan Percheron I did get because I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, it's blue roan. It's Venture. <laughs> Obviously, they look nothing alike, really, but yeah, I thought she was really pretty, too. I really like these drafty breeds. I think they look nice. So let's head into the breeding center and get some foals coming because that is the fun part. I have not bred yet, but I know there's a lot of different combinations that can come out, so it sounds exciting. Oh my gosh. You know how many times I hit left shift to dismount because of Minecraft? And in this game, it makes you sprint. <laughs> so I just randomly run into walls. Don't mind me. Okay, let's talk to Francine here. Uh, yes, I want a full. Okay, so we're going to pick mom. Let's do this Arab and then this paint. I would really love to have a Chestnut Overo Arabian. I really want one of those. They're so pretty. So it looks like only 14.92% chance. I don't think that's horrible, but it kind of makes me nervous. So I would love to have that. Oh, okay. Let's cross our fingers. Come on, Pain Arabian. Come on, Pain Arabian. What even is this? It's a Bay Paint Horse. <laughs> that's probably the worst case scenario. Oh, that's a real big bummer. What even was the percentage chance of that? <laughs> okay, let's move on. I'm going to breed my white Frisian with... How come only one is unlocked? This Akal here. I don't really care for the Akals, but the cost went way up. Oh my gosh. I would love to have a black Frisian though. I don't have one of those yet. Excuse me, g -g 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 -d 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 I don't need to trade right now. I'm sorry, but I'm busy. So I want to breed this horse, but he doesn't love me yet. So <laughs> I need to go ride him around and make him love me. Okay, hopefully we're getting close. I mean, we've been doing lots of bonding, jumping and collecting coconuts and chopping uh, trees or whatever. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys, look. Look at this Appaloosa. Oh, I love that coat. This is one of the coats I really want on an Arabian. 
and it's only 653 gold. Yes, please. <laughs> wow, it's so pretty. Is this a rare color? Or I guess not, because it's just kind of chilling here. Did I just get really lucky, or am I a fool for buying it? <laughs> Who knows? This is definitely a coat color that I want on an Arabian, so I am going to count myself lucky. Okay, he's ready to breed now, so let's grab Noel. Our, uh, Noel or Venture, we'll do Noel, and then him. Oh my gosh, it's 4,000 gold to breed them. That's crazy expensive. I mean, honestly, a Dapple Gray Frisian would be pretty, but it's not at the top of my list. And because it's so expensive, uh, I don't know. A white Clydesdale would be cool. Another white Frisian. Oh, we could try with, wait. Oh, the horses have a breeding cooldown. Okay, that's interesting. I did not realize that. <laughs> so crossing these two. So it looks like they just have a chance to be either breed and then either color pattern. It's not like the genes blend to make new colors or roans or anything. It just kind of copy and pastes onto the model. Okay, that makes sense. So I guess I am going to go with these two then. So let's cross our fingers. It's expensive. Be something good. Hopefully a Frisian. Yes, we've got a Frisian. It's not the Dapple Gray, but that's okay. Because I feel like the white Frisian is kind of a blank slate so to speak. And this one is a colt. My other one is a mare. So that's good. This is successful in my opinion. So this guy cannot be bred for a couple of days. Oh yeah. I got this Palomino thoroughbred from the training island as a drop, but I didn't see him show up on the list for breeding. That's weird. I mean, training island unique, would that make it where he's not able to be bred? Because that kind of sucks. He's so pretty. His Palomino co coat is so nice. But I guess he can't be bred because he's a unique. Okay, so now I got to train up this Appaloosa so I can breed her next because I love her pattering. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm out here training and I came across this Appaloosa which is the opposite of the one I'm writing, but also a coat I really, really want on another breed. So, uh, spending so many Robux. Oh my gosh, he's nice and tall too. Mm, okay, I can't pass him up. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, he's so pretty. He's basically exactly what I'm looking for as far as color and height and purity. So, oh well. Let's take a look at him. Oh, he's an island unique coat. Okay. That's cool. Oh my gosh. Look how he hangs his head down. It's so cute. I love this. He's like a Dalmatian. So he has some skills. Let's see. He can canter. Ooh, Western Pleasure Gates and Sliding Stop. That sounds really cool. So obviously, this guy needs a name. And I have the perfect name for him already. I mean, obviously, him being an Appaloosa, Domino. <laughs> and he kind of looks like a Domino anyways, so it works. Okay, and we're locked and loaded so I don't accidentally sell him because I could totally see myself doing that and being very disappointed. <laughs> so now we're back in the breeding area and we're going to try to breed this boy. Maybe, I don't know, let's see what we've got. So Venture is available to breed still. And then we've got the other Appaloosa who does not love me yet. <laughs> oh, these horses just need to love me. So we could get the black leopard Percheron and then a blue roan Appaloosa. Neither breed I want to focus on. So that would make no sense. Oh, well, who cares? Let's just see what we get. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a completely plain normal Appaloosa. Oh, that's disappointing. Although the coat looks shinier than normal, is that because it was bred and not found? Because I think that's just a normal coat, right? Definitely not what I was hoping for. Okay, so I just remembered I have another Palomino that I caught. 
and it is a thoroughbred and it is a Palomino. So I'm assuming this one can be bred no problem. It's a rare coat, I think, but it's not a uh, unique drop. She's a mare. And then my Frisian was a colt. So when he grows up, I can breed her to him. So I'm gonna wait a little bit, let that colt grow up, and then we're gonna try and breed him with this Palomino thoroughbred. So in the meantime, I'm going to do some farming and just kind of mess around. All right, some time has passed. I went ahead and brought this pretty Arab with me too. She was a gift from Geo, Georgia Bluefield. Thank you so much, she's so pretty. So let's check out this thoroughbred. This is the one I want to breed to my Frisian. And I'm really, really hoping for a Palomino Frisian. That's my goal here. So let's go ahead and pair them up. And again, cross fingers. Come on, Palomino Frisian. It's expensive. Oh my gosh, it's expensive. Okay, I don't wanna look. I'm not looking, I'm scared. Oh, I don't wanna look. Okay, what did I get? Oh my gosh, yay, I got exactly what I wanted. Oh, it's a little filly. She's so cute. Oh, that's so lucky. Wow. Now I completely understand why this is so addicting. <laughs> it's like you, you, you want something and you're hoping and you're hoping and you're saving. And when it happens, that's awesome. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, I've got to pull her out and look at her. I'm so happy. The Palomino Thoroughbred was a perfect one to keep. Oh, oh, I can't wait to see her all grown up. She's going to be so pretty. I'm so happy with this outcome. All right, more time has passed. I have collected this Mustang. It is a rare coat, I think. And it's really nice. So I'm hoping to pull a Frisian, which by the way, I also got this on trade, super lucky. I traded a few Percherons for this horse. Okay. What I'm hoping for in this pairing is the Buckskin Tobiano Frisian. That's really what I'm hoping for. But I mean, we just have to see what is in store for us. Oh, okay, we got another Sooty Buckskin. That's actually, I mean, it's a breeding unique, so those are rare. And if nothing else, since I already have this coat, I can use this foal to trade for something else I'm looking for. So not a bad pairing at all. At least it's not a bay paint horse. <laughs> all right, next up, another time skip. I found this uh, Cremello a call and I'm hoping to get a Cremello thoroughbred out of him. I think that would be really pretty. So we're gonna use him and we're going to use this Bay thoroughbred. So our chances of a Cremello thoroughbred are only 13%. Uh, I mean, we'll see. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, <gasps> no way. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting to actually get what I wanted. Wow, <laughs> that's so lucky. That's really cool. Oh my gosh, and he even has the white mane and the white tail. That's amazing. It's literally exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> oh, we don't, okay, we don't know how tall he's gonna be yet, but wow. How lucky is that? So now I have this paint Arab, which is really nice because I'm going to pair it with my black snowflake Appaloosa and cross fingers for the black snowflake uh, Arabian. So first, let me feed this horse a golden apple. I've figured that out. You can feed them and that makes their bond go up and you don't have to ride around forever <laughs> like I've been doing this whole time. Okay, let's cross our fingers, guys. Been really, really lucky with this breeding stuff. Well, let's see. Here we go. <laughs> oh, 
Am I seriously three for three? What? I mean, okay. The bay paint was bad luck. And then the then the other Appaloosa was bad luck. But honestly, I have had a really good... I'm going to knock on wood because I'm going to just completely curse myself. I got my black snowflake Arabian like very quickly. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know these coats aren't super, super rare. As I get into the really rare ones, I'm sure it's going to be more difficult, but I am very excited right now. This is awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more Roblox, please let me know down in the comments. I've been playing it a ton. Unfortunately, I did run out of time to show my horse haul. I'm going to get that edited as soon as possible and posted regardless because Tabitha was so very kind in entrusting her horses to me and she gave me some awesome ones. So I'm really excited to show that to you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all. And until next time, bye guys.